I have found absolutely nothing, like zero, nothing. Of that. Look at him. He's missing his eyebrow a little, little bit. But he's is he's the Japan one? He's a Korea. Korea. $2.99. That's not bad. He's really cute. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. What is this? It is a box from the 80s, obviously, right? I really like it. That is so 80s. That font. 99 it's a dollar for the oh, that's two good. That's yeah good. maybe we get them for this year yeah that could be fun to use i do like that this is a fun like spoon rest owl fun from 95 i would have thought like somebody painted this in the 70s but i like it Nineteen seventy-two. Interesting. They look great for being that old. Hmm. I'll look them up on eBay. These would be pretty easy to ship because they're so flat. This guy is really cute and definitely has a resale value, but he's got some condition issues, so he wouldn't get like top dollar. Um, and I have another one of these probably to resell. So for $3, I'm going to put him back. But he was definitely really cute to see at the thrift store. What? Oh my gosh. Talk about like memories, right? Um, also, Charlie Brown Christmas. Yes. And ready? Santa Claus is coming to town. The best. Three classics. We need to get a VHS player so we can right? watch these. How fun, they're in good condition too. Yeah. Charlie Brown Christmas. Which one's your favorite out of the three? Uh, Sam Claus Coming Town. I think I have to agree, although I do love a Charlie Brown Christmas. It's a good little um, set for someone to buy. Yeah. Santa in the car? Yeah, $3.99 is a pretty good price. Yeah, that's a more collectible one. That's sort of fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Santa in the police car. But does it have a date on it? 1983? 1983, yeah. Yeah. That's sort of fun. To look at this. Oh my. Somebody painted this. I think Build a Bear uh, reindeer here, Janine. Oh wow. $10. $10. Yeah. That is quite the Build a Bear. She like weighs 10 pounds. <laughs> there you go. Stay in there. What? How, what are the odds of that? Of that. Can you believe that? No. I mean, he looks like he ate like a blue popsicle. But oh my gosh. My heart's racing. Jimmy, can you hold on to him? Thank you. Oh, how fun are those? They're Sandy Lion. I love oh, those these. are so cute. How much are they each? They are only 99 cents. That's a steal. I'm getting them. There's a bunch of them. I know it's past our time. But you know what we say but... when it's convenient to us. No pumpkin <laughs> left behind or skeleton, no, I guess. No, not convenient. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> we use it as an excuse a bit. These are cute little carolers. Mark Japan. But yeah, I think they're $3.99 each. Which would make them 12 for the set. 12 for the set, which is good if you like them yourself, but I would resell these and I don't think there's enough there to resell, so they're nice to see though. This little parachute material Santa is really cute. He's three dollars. I don't think he has a date, but he's made in Korea, so he's probably from the 80s. It's really cute. Guys, this is a good one. Oh my goodness, a Santa mug. This is definitely like Korea or Japanese. That's really cute for $3. Snowman is cute too, but I think he's a bit newer. He might be Taiwan actually, he's cute. I don't know about picking him up. Maybe, 
We'll think about it. He's cute. See that yellow paint? That makes me think he's newer. 80s. Or 70s. Mid-century pieces are usually gold. This is cute. Probably made in China. Yeah. 2015. That's cute though. For the dogs? <laughs> Put the dogs in there? Oh my god, that's so cute. Isn't that adorable? Should we get it for the dogs? Oh, Gives us a good reason to buy it. How cute is that? Isn't it adorable? I love the little duck. Baby. That is so cute. Oh, and that one too. I didn't see that. That's so, that's so cute. We might need to buy this for the dogs. I think Olive would take naps in this. She probably would. How much is it? Um, I don't know. It's in great condition, though. It is in really good condition. It's huge. <clears throat> it's like really big. Really adorable. Why is there no price? Maybe someone bought it? Huh. That's so cute. Also love those chairs. How cute are those? $13 each. Clearly older. Love that graphic though. Love the pattern. Christmas towels. It's cute. I like this one. It's a cute little graphic. I just donated like three mugs, which is either a good reason to pick up another one or to say stop or you just donated. You don't need any more. This is so cute. Oh no, I'm gonna put it back before I get too attached. Do you see what I see? He's just hanging up on the, he's just hanging out up there. <gasps> is this a reproduction? There is a repair. Weird. Um, he's throwing me off a bit because his nose looks like it was like repainted almost. And the bottom is like a different mold than I would have expect. Oh, but there is that whole tower. <gasps> Look at that, guys. Maybe it's just a different mold from a different year. 1967. That's older. I think this is an older or, well, that's newer, actually, I meant to say. Um, it's newer. I think it's actually just maybe a newer mold. Huh. Who knows if there are more Santa mugs hiding out here. There are mugs all along this side. I'll have to take a good close look. Guys, four in a row? Four in a row. No way. I think that this is a 70s mug. 70s, maybe early 80s. Let's see if there's anything under here. There it is, guys. Made in Taiwan, Republic of China. So this is a 70s mug. Oh, look at her. She's cute. Is this? It is. I know. I had the same thoughts. It looks a little weird, right? But it is. It's a whole tower. That's what I asked for in the car. <laughs> this is cute. It has a little chip nose, though. Yeah, it was uh, made by Agnes. In 1976. Oh, that's Japan. so nice. I passed right by that. Japan. No, it's really pretty. I love that dark that's green. so pretty. That's like my favorite color. That dark, dark green. I've never seen this before. No, is it that German brand? No, it's Japan. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's cool. It's very pretty. It is really pretty. Did you see these? No. Their Janine. shirts are broken off. But they're so pretty. One had already been repaired. Oh man. But their heads broke off in the bag. You could tell. I don't know why it's they just do so that. Upsetting. It's like we find great stuff and yet we come across stuff like this, you know, like Yeah. It's like a blessing and a curse. You can see how clean of a, of but, a break that is. Like but, that just happened. But they're they don't have their um wings either though, do they? Well she's been repaired and she doesn't have her wings. But I'm saying like there's no wings in the bag anyway. No, right? no, no. I said they don't have their wings. Aww. But they're so pretty. Look at her face. Look, there's like a lot of chip. It's hard to tell if it's going to be like a clean repair. 
or they're gonna have like gaps well this is like a this would be like a personal keep like you repair for yourself you know yeah no i i agree so i was kind of on the fence because i just think they have a really cute face and poor things they're commodores i know here you go you can think about it i'll let oh. you make that decision I think I want to get them because I okay. think they're really pretty. Okay. I know that they made bowls like this in the mid-century, I think, that are like really, really, really valuable. I don't think this is that. I can see what it says. Zach. I think this is like a reproduction from like today. Wait, it says... Z-I-K, right? But can I see a little bit closer? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't think that's worth anything. I'll look it up just yeah, in case. Yeah, it's got .com on it. Oh, okay. So it's not, but... I think that that's a thing, that these are worth a lot if they're, like, original, but... All right, we're jumping in hot to another installment of What Has Janine Sold on eBay? So, we have, for $88, that Space Maker can opener that I found at that estate sale, so that was $88 plus shipping, sold a Littlest Pet Shop lot for $47 plus shipping. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Three Anna Lee dolls, 18 plus shipping. Mittens I found over the summer, $45 plus shipping. The Tree Nanny from last video, I think it was, uh, $19.99 plus shipping. And I sold just today, and I'm gonna ship it out uh, tomorrow, a Masters Golf Hat for $49 wow. plus shipping. Here's that grand total. Amazing, Janine, great job. I can't believe a few weeks ago I found this exact same snowman at an estate sale and then it just popped up at Goodwill a few weeks later and I found one yet again. I already have him packed away for next year for when I want to do another sale around Christmas time, but I cleaned him up and look at how great he looks, he guys. He looks good. The before and after is amazing. I just used a magic eraser and a little bit of dish soap and some water. Gotta be really careful when you're cleaning those ceramics, but... They clean up really nicely, and um, yeah, it's also funny. This one is missing his little uh, ceramic spoon shovel, which I'll put in a picture. This is how he originally came, so I'm on the lookout for that shovel, but that was a great find. My second, third, and fourth find were all Santa mugs. I can't believe that they were all there. That was an amazing find, three in one day. It was crazy. I don't normally find this many Santa mugs at the thrift store. These two right here are from the 70s, and I didn't notice until I brought it home that the red was coming off on this handle, mm. but not a big deal. Definitely still displayable. And this guy is a whole towered. Oh my goodness. You guys saw I ripped up that uh, tag, and he is a whole towered from 1969, I think it was. I can't quite remember. I think it was 69. I think so. He has like repairs and stuff to him, but still, you know, a great find for a collector. He's gonna look great on the shelf. I can't believe it. This is the hat that I just recently sold. It sold for $49. I don't think we captured it on camera at the thrift store. It still has its original tag and it's a Masters golf hat. I wouldn't have normally picked up anything like Masters or golf related, but um, I don't know how many of you watch Harry Tornado. He's got a lot of uh, good insight on golf items. So um, that's how I knew to pick up this and a few Months ago, I picked up a ping hat that also sold for about $20, so look out for those things. What a great pickup. These were so exciting to find. I didn't realize there were so many there. There were so many, and I got them all because um, I actually have had these on my watch list on eBay, um, but I just couldn't get myself to spend uh, like $5 on one sheet of stickers from the 90s. I don't know, just something in me was like, ah, you probably should put your money somewhere else. So I found them in the package. Wow. Goodwill. These were only 99 cents. They're Sandy Lion, who did a bunch of like sticker albums and stickers yeah. from the 90s and 80s. Oh yeah, I had a lot of Sandy Lion mm -hmm. things. And on the bottom, it is marked 1993. So these are authentic. 90 stickers. I'm gonna try and be very careful when holding these. I haven't repaired them yet, but these are the Commodore little angels that I found where their heads are broken off. Um, they are candlestick holders. You can see her little head there. Oh, she's gonna have to get a makeover. Yeah, I will be repairing them and keeping them, but when I do repair them, I will show you guys the finished product on um, 
probably one of our hauls or something. So stay tuned for that. So that is it for this video on Shiny Bright Doggo. Thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying our videos, we would really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Most people aren't subscribed who watch our videos. I don't know if you know that, Laura. I didn't know that. Yeah, so if you are enjoying and you're not subscribed, please do so and hit the like button if you also enjoyed the video. So thanks for joining us, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.